Ah, oh, fuck is this shit? Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you wanna have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, oh, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, yeah. hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, go fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, hey, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> good. Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got. It's packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag. Jimmy's, right? Okay. Just that moment, Amanda comes in, sees me there. I didn't ask for a blow-by-blow blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. 
I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pale, okay? It's too late for kale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, hmm, I, I want to save your daughter from making... What the fuck? From making an ass of herself? Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a new place with some new friends and some fruity fucking habit, but you're still my running buddy. You can't undo that. Yeah, 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 sure, okay, whatever. Great! Reckless driving! This has got to be it. The maze bank. Let's go in. Would you look out? Here we go. Come on. These spaces are reserved for... Ah! <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. You ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw this! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It is be quiet. They're auditioning right now. Pupils must be You're gonna be just as good then as I've been. All right. Yeah. That was really... All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh! Can I fucking do something about this? <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Hey! Oh, 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 hey! I got security! Uh, security! No. What you fucking Hold say? Come on! Big guy. Come on! Right there. No. Come on! Fuck no. oh. no. Come here, you little shit! No. Go home, right now, Tracy! Come back here! We take the truck! Shit. Hey! Hey! Not my rig!
How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. He went left! Bullshit! Hey, hey! Ah, the little bass is going to the train tracks! I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. I've never even seen him before. Oh, you have, believe me. And now that you know him, you'll see him everywhere. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, hey, guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus... I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. 
There you go. All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrité, mm -hmm. I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> all right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come oh, on. No. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? Uh -oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come no, on, get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave, we need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay, meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Getting there. Fuck you! Just fucking rude. Hey. Come on, move. You messed up my oil job. about the listing off of Del Perro Boulevard. It's a real What's deal. good with you, sweetie? <laughs> what if insects are actually tiny webcams controlled by the government? Crap! Ah! Would you open your damn eyes? I ain't afraid of you. Uh. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all too d And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. 
Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's ears off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at this shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. What's up? Hey, hey baby. Look at you two together. What a lovely fucking couple. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared!
Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without the game. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! It's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, she. Let me know about the next thing. Will do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets, you know, property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more. I don't know what the fuck to say, dog. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. You got a luck, homie. All that shit? Chop, what you been eating? I gotta get a regimen for your ass. 